Hi there, this is Applications of Differentiation. And the uh, first topic we're going to talk about is uh, maximums and minimums. And, uh, well, let me just draw a quick graph. Uh, there's no uh, function to it. Uh, I'm just drawing essentially squiggles on this line. But um, some arrows here to show. And uh, one thing that I just want to point out is... Um, Maximum and minimums can be mathematically described as when f prime equals zero, and that's essentially um, that's essentially going to be your slope, right? I mean, you know, f prime is it, that's the derivative, right? And that will equal zero. So remember that our slope equals rise over run. And that will be essentially zero over whatever number. It can run as far as it wants. We don't know. And essentially, I mean, what you're looking for is like a horizontal uh, portion of the graph. So um, one question I'm going to ask you is uh, where on this graph is it, uh, is it horizontal? And I just want you to just kind of look at some of these points that we're going to point out here. Um, these three in particular, A, B, and C, which are all horizontal, um, instantaneously horizontal. They don't hold the horizontal pitch very long, but you can see that if you draw a line through B, it makes a horizontal line. Same thing with C. So uh, points A, B, and C are um, instances where F prime equals zero. And the only thing that F prime equals zero states is that it is either a, first of all, it's a local maximum or minimum. So what do they mean by a local? Well, notice how these these arrows can, on the far left and arrows on the far right, they continue to go up. So obviously, B is not the highest. But it is locally, if you look on the right side or the left side of B, you'll realize that locally it is the highest point. So that that's the only point we're trying to make. So I think we're going to just take that idea and maybe go through an example that uh, I always like to touch on um, a simpler equation, a simple uh, function uh, y equals x squared because we all know what that looks like and we also know the derivative of that one because that's the one we've been kind of walking through day by day. y prime equals 2x, correct? Good. So I'm going to do a quick sketch of the of the uh, y equals x squared graph, and that looks something like this. No numbers in here because then you'll you'll catch me in my my flawed art. And basically, we know that this is the only point where it actually, like right at the origin, this is where we know that it's uh, the slope will equal zero. But I mean, we we should uh, mathematically prove that, right? So I mean. Uh, y prime will equal zero at that slope, so y prime also equals 2x, so we need to solve for x then. x equals zero, because zero divided by two just equals zero, so um, that just shows us that that's the point where the maximum or the minimum happens. In our case, it's a minimum. We still don't know mathematically how to determine um, whether this is a maximum or minimum, and that will actually uh, be explained in the next video. So, um, one thing I also want to point out, just just as an example, and I'm going to do the exact same problem, but I'm going to put them negative in front of it, right? So, the results of it is going to be just the same. It's just all you have to do is toss negative in front, right? Well, what does that graph look like? 
looks something. Actually, I, I just almost drew it upside down. I'm going to continue this down right here. Looks something like that. Notice how the same point is going to be of interest. That's still going to be um, our point, but and we'll still solve for it the exact same way. 2x equals 0, x will then equal 0. It's the same way, but this goes to show you that with the same result, all it's giving us is the location of the maximum or minimum. It's not telling us anything about whether it is a maximum or a minimum. And uh, I think I'll stop there and we can continue on with the next video.